Historical mask review day. I'm going to be testing this bad boy. Uh, I'm going to be taking it down and doing some diving with it and see how it works. First off, I will say that this is not a paid endorsement. Uh, just a dude sending another dude a snorkel mask. So let me unbox further. All right, so fresh out of the box, it came in the nice plastic right there, came in a net. Looks like we have a screw on the inside right here, and then it came with the snorkel that attaches apparently to the top there, it looks like. Oh, I honestly did not even notice this. It has a uh, GoPro um, mount right here, so I can put the GoPro on top, I think. All right, so <clears throat> I guess I'll start with, I'm not a professional snorkeler, so this video is kind of gonna be just giving you like a general perspective of the product. With the mask that I hold in my hands, I am going to be testing its usability, its durability. I'm gonna be testing its comfortability of the beard. I'll be testing its versatility. And last but not least, I'll be testing its functionality. Now, I don't wanna to get too much into this, but I'll, it looks like a pretty simple setup, so I wanna make it nice, quick, and easy. I want this video to be more about the review of how it performs in the water, not about setting it up. So, let's try and make it quick and easy. All right, so it looks like this thing <clears throat> just pops right in the top snaps in somewhere yeah here look at that <laughs> so when you get it you pop that thing up top um, and here are the screws for the GoPro mount on the front all right so I really didn't need any directions for this it comes like ready to go out the box like as of right now all I need to do is adjust the straps and I'm ready to be out there it took me could have taken me like from opening the box I could have been ready to go in about a minute Dude. Dude. What's up? All right, people, today's mission is to test the snorkel mask. I just drove around looking for some better conditions down in Laguna. Uh, there wasn't much sun down there and water clarity all throughout Orange County is pretty milky, I would say. So yeah, there's a lot of sand, sediment kind of moving around. So um, I chose a spot a little bit closer to home and uh, the idea of this is just to test the products, the comfortability, some of the stuff I went over before. So I don't expect this footage to be much and uh, hopefully I can take this out um, at a later date when we get some of that really clear water. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and uh, try and get like a solid 15 minute test in and just see how it goes. So I'll go through the checklist right now and uh, let you guys know how this thing performed. Usability, very easy to use, very easy to set up. Basically out of the box you can have this thing ready to go in a couple minutes. This thing pops off, pops on, you got the screws that screw in right here and it's pretty much good to go after that. 
Durability wise, I didn't have any issues with it. Um, it held up nicely, feels nice and firm. So I'd certainly give it a pass on durability. However, durability really refers to the longevity of an item. So I'll be using this in the future and uh, we'll see how it holds up over time. But as for now, it seems pretty good. Comfortability of the beard. It seemed to have a nice suction around the beard here. Um, it wasn't really an issue too much. Every once in a while when it fogs up, you gotta let a little water into it to clear it out. And uh, the only issue I had with that is when I would kind of pull the mask out, I would grab some of my beard and that was that was a little, uh, little annoying. After a while, I actually realized to grab the mask up here when I was letting water into it just to kind of like flow it in and out. And um, so comfortability of the beard, pretty good. Versatility. The first video I took it out in somewhat more of waves and uh, it held up great. The strap around the back keeps it nice and fastened to your face and this just perfectly cups your face so it wasn't moving around at all. Like I said before you got a little, a little water into it just to clear the lens on the inside. It does get fogged up, that happens with all snorkel masks to a certain degree. And last but not least is functionality. The camera mount up here, I really liked that, how you can basically, usually with GoPro mounts it kind of cuts off at a certain point and this allows you to point it all the way back, all the way forward. No issues there, nice and easy. All said and done, I think the best thing about this is comfortability. I did have some fogging issues. There is a little bit of pressure when you're breathing on the inside here. To pretty much the same pressure that you feel when you have a snorkel in your mouth. Now this product, I don't know if it was specifically made to be an ocean kind of product or a pool product, but it held up in the conditions in the ocean and didn't give me too many issues. If you guys are looking to buy a snorkel mask, definitely give this a look. I'll leave the link down in the description. Once again, thanks Jason for sending this out to me. Stoked to be able to try it out and I definitely want to take it out later this summer when the water's a little bit clearer, the water's a little bit warmer, and the sun's out. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Jason. If you guys want to check this out, I'll leave it in the description below. Other than that, thank you for watching and have a good day.